Well, I cleaned up the yard a little bit so I can do some mowing. I finished looking at the back of the garage, the left hand top corner, the odd cuts where that valley was where I showed you the other day. That's complete. No more bare wood showing, no spaces, all roofed, tarred, flashed, done. Now I got to get to the other side, which would be the right side, and do the same thing. However, I got to go over in the other yard to do that, which is not a problem, but I'd rather do that when the wife is home because the boys may try to get in the other yard when I'm over there because they want to be with me. And if there's something between them and I, uh, they get upset. So uh, I got to wait for the wife to come home. So meanwhile, I picked up the whole yard, so that's ready to mow. And I'm going to get some measurements on this because if I put this on the front of that big drum, I'm going to have to weld the plate on it first because the big drum kind of has a couple of jogs in it. So I'm going to have to weld the plate on it first. So I want to get a measurement of rough measurement on what size plate I'm going to need. Uh, and this looks like uh, if I go with maybe, well the size of this thing from top to bottom is 14 by 14. So I'm going to go with a 16 inch plate. That'll give me a little bit extra. 16 by 16. And I'll probably run maybe 20 or 18 gauge. I don't think I need anything real heavy. Because basically all I'm doing is, is making it flat. Like I said, if I look at the side of the drum, it comes down, it goes like this. Alright, so I need to put a plate on it here and weld it in so I have a flat surface to put this door on. So basically all I'm doing is doing a frame because once I get the flat surface I got to cut it out anyway for the door, you know, but I, I still have to have something flat to work within. Um, now the other option is if I got some L channel I can probably just slide some L, L channel in there which might be easier. Um, I can slot this so in other words looking down on it uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not but looking down on it if I slot it then I can put the L channel right down in it so it'll look something like that you know and then um, at that point then I can just uh, close in the two sides so that could be that's probably going to be better I may do it that way. I know you're not seeing it. You may not understand it the way I just drew it, but that's what I think I'm going to do. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think. I need to reach over here and get something else. So anyway, if I come down, it comes out like this, come down, it comes out like this, comes down. Now, I can put a whole plate over that to cover it. And then I'm going to have to cut out a hole, so all I'm going to have left is basically just a rim. <coughs> so what I was thinking of, if this is looking down on the channel now, on this part, and I put a slice in it here, and then with another slice on the bottom one, then, looking up from the side again, then I could take a piece of L, put it right down inside the slice, and then all I have to do is just do the other side and then put a piece across the top and make a frame. And that may be the best way to go. Because it'll be heavier. So, but we'll see. I don't know yet. Alright, so basically this is what I was talking about, these here. Alright, this is easy to cut off. That's not a big deal. However, these could be a bit of a problem, okay? And it's, there's one large one, and then you got the small one. Uh, it's added there for naturally strength. Um, but that's going to be a pain in the ass for the door. So, trying to get the door on there, all right, uh, will be a pain in the butt because of that. So, I got one or two choices here. 
I can actually just bolt into the top one and not have to worry about the top one. Which could actually be that too. And for some reason, look, that's just a bar. Okay. So if I was to bolt there onto the top one, just bolt right into that lip, I just have to concern myself. Let me close this tripod up a little bit. Concern myself with the sides and the bottom. So if I slice this and slice that, Slice this, slice this, then I can take a piece of L bracket, you know, the uh, angle iron, and cut it and slide that down into the slice, making this flat here. And then I just have to weld this and this, and this should be closed in, and whatever it doesn't close in, I can just put some, some weld in it. Do the same thing on this side. However, down here is going to be the problem because I got to cut this open so that we have some room here for this to work. So is it going to be easier? Well, it doesn't hurt to try. And if worse comes to worse, I just have to buy a little bit bigger piece of plate. If it doesn't, that's all. Just to cover the cuts that I put there. Uh, now the other thing is, if I just cut those out completely and let the sides drop in, then I just may have to put some flat stock across the bottom and the top. So that's another option. And once I get a hole cut, I might be able to bang this metal around a little bit and uh, flatten out some of the small stuff. Well, I'll see what happens. Meanwhile, I'm going to leave that out here. And that's the way it's going to go. And then down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an opening right here. I'm going to cut it out. Actually, a little bit bigger. I'll probably go to here with it. So I'm going to cut out an opening right across here, a couple of feet. I'm going to save this piece that I cut, and I'm going to hinge it. This way, if I have, when I have to clean it out, all I have to do is open that up, go in there with a hoe, and pull out the ashes. So that's going to make it a lot easier for cleaning as well. So I'm going to, there, because I got a uh, kind of a worn out flat, you know, uh, maybe an inch and a half, two inch hole. So if I just cut this out right on that seam right there, like I'm showing you, from here to here, put a hinge on it so I can open and close it, you know, regardless if it's a drop hinge or a hang hinge, all right, and then I can use that for my clean out. Now the only other thing I'm going to have a problem with is putting the grate in here, because I want to put a grate in there. I have the stuff to do it with, <coughs> um, but I'm probably going to have to just put it in there and piece it in somehow. I, I, um, I really don't know. Or, I'm going to have to cut a bigger out here so I can get the grade in. And then once I get the grade in, I can reach in the hole and tack weld it on the other side if I have to. Or put an L bracket there so it can sit on the L. Put an L here so it can sit on the L. Because uh, regardless of how thick it is, it burns out because in my uh, little wood burner stove inside I actually use this kind of stuff because at one time I was getting all this I wanted for nothing brand new so uh, but after a year or what two years of burn um, that just burned right out it didn't even work I mean it was like boom not even there anymore so the heat just destroys it so I don't want to weld anything in there oh I got some plate right here and you find things all over the place. Is this plate going to be big enough? Probably not. Boy, and that's close, isn't it? That is close. I got the width. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's the same size. So it doesn't make a difference. No. Boy, was that close. Well, that would have been luck, I guess. Well, I've had a lot of luck lately this last couple of weeks, so can't complain. But, uh, yeah, that would have worked out nicely if that was a couple more inches. Oh well, I forgot what I used that for. You know what, wait a minute. Uh, you guys can turn it off if you want. Uh, yeah, I know you will. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. But, uh, wrong light, okay. What do I have in here? That's a seat slide. That, huh, that's a footrest for a car. 
There's a round piece of steel plate. Man, I gotta get some room in here. I gotta get this pegboard out of here. Jeez. Uh, squirrel cage. I may hang that up on the ceiling just to circulate the air, the heat. Uh, no, not that. Uh, come on, what do I got? No. No. Uh, that's a water tank with a pump on it, fresh water. That pump is strong enough to power a wash. Uh, well, I was looking for that wrench. I don't believe I don't have a piece of plate laying around here someplace. I guess I'll have to go next door, see Chris, bug something, get something from him. I'm sure he has a piece laying around. I'll buy it off him. I don't want him to just give it to me. So, all right, let me shut that down. And, uh, well, I tell you, the more, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm alright guys, I'm just, you know, falling around like a drunk. Um, the more room you have, the more you need. This is ridiculous. Let me get this pegboard back here more, because I don't want to have it snap on me. Crooked. Whoa, jeez guys, sorry for the rough ride. <laughs> There, okay. Now I can walk a little bit without tripping around like an old drunk. Now this is what I was talking about. How you doing, Nick? Take this stuff. Cut it. Cut it to fit the length that I need, 16 inches. <coughs> Excuse me. Slice the drum on those lumps so this will slide right down inside. Then it'll fit flush. Actually, I didn't have to slice the drum. I could just make some cuts with the, on this to make it fit in and then weld it in. But slice the drum, uh, it'll give me a better, better support. Um, and then put one here, one on that side across the bottom and then put the thing right on it now this won't be up that high because it'll be fitting down inside the drum because you got to remember I'm going to cut it off about here so this will sink down in once I slice the drum uh, you know make a, a slice in each lump and uh, that'll slide back down in there so this will only be off the drum maybe an inch not even three quarters well, whatever that distance is so I'll tell you what uh, half inch if that so so that might be the way because I got enough of those to do that with so I gotta figure it out uh, main thing is uh, first let me get that finished off on the roof up there on that side because that side's done complete uh, I should get up there and trim off some of that wrap uh, and the wife, she wants to finish the shingles, so I'll let her do that. And uh, we'll take it from there. And she's home, as you can hear. So, alright guys.